So sometime this year, we're going to release the expanded Lost River map as DLC. Lost River is a fictional map somewhere out in the mountain west of the United States where something, some, some, some unfortunate event has, has occurred and all the humans have left, leaving the animals to take over. We've got a small version of Lost River in Wolf Quest 2.7 and you can play it in Anniversary Edition as well, but we're making a much bigger and better map for Anniversary Edition. I started working on this quite a while ago and have been chipping away at it periodically, month by month. It's quite big, actually, for obscure technical reasons. It's a bit larger than the Yellowstone maps in the game. It's a bit more than 8x8 eight eight kilometers in size compared to 7x7 seven seven for the Yellowstone maps. And so that gives us plenty of room for lots of cool stuff, from, from new versions of what's in the old map to a lot of new stuff that we're going to try to make pretty fun and interesting to explore and uh, play the game in. So here we are at the beginning of the map making process. First, first I generated some random uh, mountain and valley terrain, and then uh, started modifying it to make it into what I want the Lost River map to look like. And so this is using a tool called World Creator. It's a 3D software tool for making landscapes, and uh, it has all these, these diamonds that are the nodes that control each part of the... And uh, you can click to select each one and then move it up and down to change the elevation of that area and then and then the software applies a bunch of filters for erosion and sedimentation so every time i make a change it updates the terrain so you can see that on steeper slopes the topography is much rougher like cliffs and down in the valleys it's much smoother because it's simulating how erosion and sedimentation work typically in the environment so i like how the old lost river map had that central hilltop surrounded by valleys with the town down to the south of it and then valleys going out into the wilderness to the north. And I want to do something basically similar with that, but on a much larger scale. It's going to take me a while to get to that, but you can see that central peak that will take some revision. And then I'm trying to shape the valleys here more. So I went through a number of revisions and iterations on that to end up with this, which I think looks much better. And I put in some terrain coloring to show where there be forests and grass areas. And I cranked up the erosion filters to show water drainage. Because there's one rule of geology that any map that's trying to look like the real world has to obey, and that is that water flows downhill. See, this is a very different process than making the Yellowstone maps in the game, where I use actual topographic data of real places and actual land cover images from satellites. But here, I'm just making it up. And so one of the things that uh, takes some time is to make sure that there's always a path for water to flow downhill. But the way that I was making this terrain with those nodes means that it's very easy to end up with some bowl-shaped areas where the water would flow in and just have nowhere to go. And in fact, in the real world, it would go somewhere. It would just keep cutting through the ground and erode it that way. But I have to do that manually here. And so here I have to adjust the elevation of each of these nodes to make sure that there is a path for the water to flow. And you change it one area and that kind of mess it up somewhere else. And so this is another um, very iterative process to keep tweaking it. But here we can see that the water flow gets stuck here, there in the middle, and I have to keep pushing this node down. And it's sort of a, it's, it's very cool, but it's also sort of a crude way of manipulating the, the, the landscape. I have to really push that down because that one spot is pretty stubborn. So there won't be this many rivers in the game map. It's just to create a realistic basic terrain before moving on to the... Well, actually, I think this is the fun stuff too, but moving on to even more fun stuff, making the rest of the map. And I have made more progress since then, and uh, we'll be showing some of that in future dev vlogs, so stay tuned. Again, this expanded Lost River map will be DLC for purchase um, once it's ready to release sometime this year. And you will be able to play the entire game on it find a mate, establish a territory, have pups. And then once the saga is released, you'll also be able to play the saga here. Year after year, more pups, raise your pups, they learn to hunt. Stick around as yearlings when you have another litter of pups before possibly dispersing. The whole game will be playable in Lost River as well as in the Yellowstone maps. So lots of cool stuff still in store for Wolf Quest. Mm -hmm.